this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite plays in Madden 21 and how you can use it to be successful against any defense in Madden. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And so if you're looking at watching this and you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. And like I said, we're gonna be taking a look into some, uh, a play that I really like and it really primarily is results because of how much people in Madden 21 really, really like to use to play Mike Blitz 3. I think that a lot of people would tell you that it's probably the best pass defense in Madden 21. So we're gonna show you how to deal with that today from the Gun Bunch. And if you have not already gotten uh, my full uh, Gun Bunch or my full Jets guide that contains the Gun Bunch, the Bunch tight end and the Trips tight end offset in it, you can get that in the description of this video. You can get that for just $15. It breaks down everything that you need to know. But the play we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be focusing specifically on Jets Dig. We're going to talk about really the glitchiest route in Madden 21, in my opinion, and that is this specific little stock fade route uh, to the right side. We're going to be talking about, you know, how you can leverage this, how you can use this against different coverages and different packages. So first and foremost, let's talk about just a traditional Mabel coverage from Nickel 435 wide. Um, this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best cover three beaters in the entire game. Literally, you don't do any adjustments with zero adjustments whatsoever and you're just going to pass lead this little stock fade to the right and do this little swerve catch over the top and as you can see it destroys cover three literally destroys it it doesn't matter which side the safety's on uh, a lot of cover three bombs in this game are rather dependent on depending on like where the safety is on this one it really doesn't matter like literally you just snap the ball and you're going to be able to you know beat it over the top for one play touchdown kind of right in that little pocket right there and as you can see he just continues to crush cover three. Now the problem that this play creates, um, or the, what this forces your opponent to do is it forces him to have to make some decisions and have to make some changes to his defense. Now the first change that he might do is he might shift to a cover four style of defense. So I wanna talk about that uh, specifically really quickly. So if you watch this against a cover four, you actually have a pretty good shot at bombing cover four uh, really quickly. Now right there, I got you know kind of pushed out of the box and I, I'm gonna uh, spy off the lineman just to give myself a little bit more time uh, just so that I can kind of fully explain to you Know, kind of what's going on on this play so again we just kind of spied the lineman off i just want you to watch this fade um and I just kind of want to explain this a little bit so once he gets even with the corner he's kind of leaving so you can do this little swerve catch right there and have a pretty decent shot at getting over the top but as you can see the uh, cover four does a pretty good job and so there's some things that you can do um some things that you can do to deal with this okay um for example one of the things that you can do is you can streak the tight end a simple streak of the tight end is going to actually help this quite a bit. You're going to see that that, uh, that guy is going to take him. This is an automatic absolute bomb against cover four. As you can see right there, one play touchdown against cover four. This is very consistent. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what they do from a cover four perspective, you are going to be very, very successful if you just simply streak the tight end. So we've learned, you know, one of the things that we can do to make this play really, really, really powerful is just by simply streaking the tight end. And by simply streaking the tight end, you just lob this thing over the top to the right side. And as you can see, you're going to have a pretty good beater. So this now continues to beg this question, what is the adjustment that they need to do to be able to take this route away? Well, the next adjustment that is likely to happen is they're going to shift into a cover three Mabel. The only difference is what they're going to start doing is they're going to start putting their corners in a deep half. And so I just want to kind of, uh, you know, kind of continue the conversation here. So we've learned to streak the tight end uh, and we've learned that this, but as you see here, this guy runs right with him. It's just not open. The deep half is this really the answer uh, to this to this powerful passing concept and it, it might be but let's take a look at some let's take a stab at some different things that you can do uh, to try to deal with this so one of the things that you could do um, is just simply motioning out the circle receiver all the way to the numbers and then what you're gonna see here is that this little deep half it does get a little bit of a false start but unfortunately as you can see it, it still is able to get back on the ball you're still kind of you know out of luck now I want to talk real briefly about the cover four real quick uh, one more time I want to just show one other thing that you can do 
Um, and that is this, again, this simple little motion of the circle receiver. So when you motion him out against a cover four defense, you're going to notice that you still run into the same issue. You're able to beat that outside quarter. And if you have a good swerve catch, you're able to get over the top of that other guy. But the issue that you kind of run into is what do you do when they beat path? Um, so much so that we start to ask the question, you know, how does this play do against cover two? And it's a great question to ask. So uh, just kind of watching this against cover two, we're gonna streak the tight end, that's it. And what you're gonna watch here is we're just gonna try to get out of the pocket. But the problem is um, if he is even, he is leaving. As you can see right there, if he gets even with the deep half, um, he can get over the top. So let me show you this one more time. Um, this does require a significant amount of user skill, in my opinion, because you have to be able uh, you have to be able to throw this ball. I think you have to be rolling out. I think you have to be kind of rolling out to the right here uh, and seeing this. But what you'll see right here is once he's even, if you just simply pass lead this to the right, you're going to be able to kill cover two. If you were to ask me what is the most difficult defense to consistently beat against the bunch, it is in, it is indeed this cover two style of defense. I think cover two is super hard to beat, but where it leaves us off is it leaves us, as you can see right there, we're able to beat that with that one little adjustment. So now the question is, can we use the same style of adjustment, the same route, everything is the same, except the only difference is now what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to get even and leave this guy right here. So if I roll out, roll out, roll out, you see that he stays on top the entire time, but I can't aggressive catch it. I, if I have an X factor activated or something like that, that leaves us to become a possibility. The big problem is we don't have a great um, we don't have a great uh, route yet that I think is very very successful at you know kind of holding this deep half. Unfortunately, I don't I don't know of one. One the one that comes to mind is a simple little in route or crosser. So I'm just going to use a little slant right here and just kind of show this. But you'll see that it's hard to get this deep half to bite. Uh, but this is the adjustment that they have to make. The problem for the defense is when they start to adjust their defense to this, it leaves them very vulnerable to other things that we can do from the bunch. So all this to say, this is indeed the best cover three beater in the entire game. It's super simple. Um, let me show you really quick. We haven't shown you this little version of this cover three beater, but if we streak that tight end, Again, just want to show you one more time. So this is with the tight end streaking. You're going to see that a tight end streaking, um, you see that right there, see how the corner goes with him? The tight end streaking kind of gets in the way of the play. So you just have to be aware of that. If they're running a cover four, that's one thing. Um, but if, 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 you, if you're anticipating that it's likely to be a cover three defense, I would just run the play stock. I wouldn't make any adjustments to it. I would literally just you know run it as is. And what you'll see is if you run it as is, you're gonna get that bomb right there every single time. Very simple and very consistent way to kill cover three. Now, uh, again, this is gonna force them to have to have to shift and do some different things, and it's gonna open up other things in your arsenal. It's gonna open up things like the play verticals. It's gonna open up things like mesh, corner. It's gonna open up flood, all of those things. If you can run this play really, really well, you're gonna force your opponent to have to respect everything that you can do from this formation. So thanks for watching this. If you wanna learn the exact way that I would recommend running the Jets offense, I believe it's the best offense in Madden 21 right now, you can get my complete guide to the Jets offense for just $15. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. We're going to be streaming tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. If you want to come hang out and catch us play live, um, we're going to be running this offense. But like I said, if you want to get the exact offense that I run in weekend league, in money games, whatever I need to win, this is the offense I would recommend that you run. Thanks for watching this video and you can get that offense for just $15 in the description of the video.